CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thanks for being here. Our endless summer is taking a toll in the Cowichan Valley. The region is on the brink of a major drought. The Cowichan River running extremely low, so low that salmon cannot make it upstream. The catalyst mill is running out of the water it needs to operate, and the taps in thousands of Cowichan homes are at risk of running dry. Some people blame bad decision making and not Mother Nature. CTV Scott Cunningham joins us now with more on the story. Scott. Hudson, an extended summer forecast is a welcome change from the rains which usually dampen Vancouver Island this time of year. But in the Cowichan Valley, rain clouds are something most people cannot wait to see. Right now the river is running at about five and a half cubic meters per second. It should be at seven. Walking through the Cowichan River's current is rarely this easy, but its flow this October is a meek version of its true self. In the time I've been here, I've never seen it this low. The Cowichan River's pulse, its flow of water, is controlled by the Lake Cowichan Weir. In June of this year, water was plentiful after heavy rains, but the reserve which allows salmon to swim upstream, the catalyst mill to run, and safe drinking water to flow to thousands of homes was let go leaving the region exposed. The hope was that there would be sufficient water and uh, that hope is not being realized at this point in time. When we look ahead, we see sunny skies. Uh, nobody knows what's going to happen, but uh, there's grave concern at this time. What they hoped would not happen has. Water levels are extremely low, and the one thing which could undo the mistake of letting the precious water supply go in the spring simply is not happening. If we don't get three days of heavy rain by the end of October, the river could essentially start running dry, and that certainly would be a crisis. People who live on the river and survive because of it say they have a simple solution to this year's problem that the province should hand over all control of the Cowichan Lake Weir to them. The province is now asking why local stakeholders have not taken more control themselves. In a statement, the Ministry of Forests, Lands and Natural Resource Operations say the Cowichan Valley Regional District can apply for a new water license on conservation grounds, allowing them to increase the lake's allowable storage. The CVRD has been aware of this option for a number of years. The CVRD has never applied. Still, those on the water are pointing a finger of blame directly towards the provincial government. We're trying really hard to get control more down into local hands and away from government bureaucrats. For now, the future of the Cowichan Valley's water supply relies not on government or local stakeholders, but solely on the skies. In hopes of saving some of the salmon which have been unable to dash up the Cowichan River and spawn, local stakeholders decided today that a large pulse of water would be released from Lake Cowichan sometime in the next 48 hours. A band-aid fix for a problem looming large over the Cowichan Valley. Hudson? Absolutely. Scott Cunningham reporting tonight from our Nanaimo newsroom. Scott, thank you.